over a 12 month period the retail price of an LCD TV is noted. Uh, the model that best represents the price over this period is this equation where C is the cost in dollars uh, is minus 4 times M minus 5 the whole squared plus 1200. Okay, so let me write the equation C which is in dollars is given to be minus 4 times M minus 5 the whole squared plus 1200. Now here yeah, they have given that M is between, M is the number of months, M is less than or equal to 12 and greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so what does it mean? Uh, so this is, so on, on X axis we have taken month, so to say, say this is 0, this is 0 and say this is 12. This is 12 months. Okay, and the price, uh, this is a function of price in terms of number of months. So this is the, this is the price when the TV was, uh, LCD, this TV was launched. So this is a price when M is 0. That means when it was launched. Okay, so yeah, the first question is, what's the special release price of the LCD TV? Okay, so when it was released, what's the special price? That means, yeah, the question is, when M is, uh, so in other words, M is equal to zero, so what is the cost? That's what they're asking you. So let's, let me see this. So yeah, your C when M is zero would be minus four, minus, it is minus four times, M is 0, so it's 0 minus 5, the whole squared, plus 1200. Okay, so what will happen? So this is equal to minus 4 times, this is 25, minus 5 squared is 25, plus 1200, plus 1200. So this is equal to, this is minus 4 times 25 is minus 100, plus 1200. So you'll see when it was launched is $1,100. So yeah, this is $1,100. So you can say the answer is $1,100. Okay, what's the next question? What's the maximum retail price of the LCD TV over the 12 month period? Okay, now when you look at this parabola so this this is a parabola which has gone upside down and it has got a stretch factor okay so yeah this from just by looking at this I can say this is say the maximum this is where it reaches the maximum price so the price when it's launched it is less than it goes up and then it's coming down okay so you can say here yeah, the parabola has gone phi to the right because of this minus phi tells me uh, this minus phi tells me the parabola has gone phi to the right. So this is phi, okay, and it has gone 1200 up. So this point, this coordinate, I can say is phi comma 1200, okay. So you can say the maximum price the LCD TV reached. What is the maximum retail price it reached? So you can say it is $1,200. It is $1,200. So we'll have to confirm this. What does this mean? When M is, so what I'm saying is when M is phi, uh, this should be, this is 1,200. So even without doing any maths, if you put M is phi, this whole thing is going to become zero. So let me show you that. So let me write the equation. Your C is minus 4 times M minus 5, the whole squared, plus 1200. So if I put M is equal to M is equal to 5 in this, if I put M equal to 5, this implies C is minus 4 times 5 minus 5 the whole squared plus 1200. Okay, so can you see this becomes 0, which is minus 4 
times 0 squared plus 1200. So 0 times anything gives you 0. So this is $1,200. So the maximum price that it reaches is $1,200. Okay. So, and finally, after, okay, we have got one more question. After how many months is the LCD retailing at 1056 So the question is, you if C is at what, after how many months is, is it reaching the price of 1056 you want to find M. That's the question. So let me use a different color. So C, let me write the equation. C is minus 4 times M minus 5, the whole squared, plus 1,200. Okay. So let's put 1,056 uh, 1, in this equation. So, okay. So 1,056 is equal to minus 4 times m minus 5, the whole squared plus 1,200. Okay, let me move this slightly down so that I've got enough working space here. Okay, so here, let, let me take 1,200 from both sides. So if you take away 1,200 from this side, you can take away 1,200 from this side. Okay, so you've got two sides, so this and this gets cancelled this and this gets cancelled. So let me use a calculator. So it's better to always check. So this is my graphic calculator. That is 1056 minus 1200. Okay, that is 144. So this is what minus 144 is equal to minus 4 times m minus 5 the whole squared. So now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4. So if I divide this side by negative 4, I can also divide this side by negative 4. So let me divide minus 144 divided by negative 4 is 36. So this and this gets cancelled. Minus 4 and minus 4 gets cancelled. So now we can say m minus 5 or 36 is equal to m minus phi the whole squared. So now I, I want you to use your logic. So here, let me write this the other way around. So can I say m minus phi the whole squared is equal to 36. And 36 can I write is equal to 6 squared. Okay, so yeah, so let me rewrite this again. So I can, uh, what am I saying is m minus phi the whole squared is equal to 6 squared. So here you got square outside the bracket. Here also you got square outside the bracket. So you can compare it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel it. So if you cancel the squares, which can be compared, what you can see is m minus phi, m minus, sorry, m minus phi is equal to m minus phi is equal to 6. And adding phi to both sides, you can say m is 11. When M is 11 months. So in other words, in the 11th month, so what we are saying is, let's go to the graph. So this is the 12th month and say this is the 11th month. This is the 11th month. In the 11th month, let me draw a dotted line here. In the 11th month, so this is your 11th month, you're reaching the price of, it's not exact, okay? It doesn't look exact, okay? So I, it's better not to draw. So we, what we're saying is in the 11th month, this is the 11th month, you're getting the price of 1,056. Okay, so when it was launched, it was 1,100. In the 11th month, it is 1,056. Let's check this on the calculator. Okay, so we know maximum is 1,200. So go to your graph and type in the equation which is minus 4 bracket your x is m so x minus phi the whole squared plus 1200 1200 so let me delete it okay and i know your x is between 0 to 12 so you go shift f3 i'll go from 0 to 12 because 
your months is from 0 to 12. And on the y-axis, I'm going to take from 0 to 1,300. Because I know the maximum is 1,200. I'll go at a scale of 100. OK, and see the, how the graph looks like. So this is your graph. OK. And I go GSOL maximum. You can you see in the fifth month, you have the maximum sale of 1,200. So we know if we know 1,000, so what we get, we know 1,056. We want to find that is that corresponds to 11. So again, go uh, exit and draw GSOL. This 11 is your X value. So you go F6 and your X calc. So you want to calculate your X when you know Y, which is your uh, price, which is 1056. And uh, this is your price. In the 11th month, you have the price of 1056. Okay. I will, uh, I want you to read this question and try to do this yourself. Okay, so here this is a modeling question. Uh, try to read this information and try to answer this. If possible, I'll make a video on the solution of this uh, soon.